Hi everyone. Today's video takes a more personal turn, stepping a little closer to the present day, as I share something truly special. My grandfather's DNA results. Before we dive in, let me offer a quick disclaimer. This video doesn't aim to represent the genetic makeup of all Hungarians. Each of us carries a unique genetic story, and these results reflect just one fascinating example within the larger tapestry of Hungarian heritage. After exploring his ethnicity breakdown on Mehritesh, I'll take you even deeper into the past, comparing his genome to ancient individuals to uncover insights about his ancestral connections. So, let's begin with his Myheritage results. Myheritage's analysis of my grandfather's DNA, compared to a database of modern individuals, shows a predominant alignment with Western and Eastern Europeans. Alongside a notable trace of Central Asian and Mesoamerican ancestry, this latter likely reflects Siberian roots, as shared Paleolithic ancestry links Siberians and Native Americans. After reviewing the ethnicity estimates, we can now explore the genetic groups. Genetic groups focus on more recent connections, identifying people in the database who share overlapping DNA segments, which point to common ancestors within the past few hundred years and often reflect specific geographic regions, migration patterns, or cultural communities. This offers a closer look at his recent family history. According to his genetic groups, my grandfather may share common ancestors with people from Hungary, Austria, Slovakia, Germany, the Czech Republic, Poland, Northern Italy, and even Turkey. Before diving into the ancient aspects of his ancestry, allow me to briefly share where his roots lie, helping us understand how his genetic results align with the archeological history of the broader region. Afterward, I will present some of his unsupervised models from Ilustravedna to offer an approximate overview of his ancient heritage. He hails from central Hungary, within the Great Hungarian Plains. Nestled in the danube tisza interfluv a region renowned for its vast grasslands, sodic plains, and enigmatic sand dunes. For centuries, it has borne witness to waves of migration from the Celts, Scythians and Sarmatians, to the Huns, Avars, and the conquering Hungarians. Among the many fascinating archaeological treasures of his hometown are two renowned artifacts. The first is a late Iron Age Latina Celtic belt chain, adorned with a pendant considered unique across the continent. The second, a sabertash from the 10th century, belonged to a Hungarian conqueror warrior, highlighting the martial and cultural legacy of the early Hungarians. Beyond central Hungary, some of my grandfather's lineages traced to the northern and western regions of present-day Slovakia which once belonged to the Kingdom of Hungary and fostered communities of Hungarians, Germans and Slovaks living together. This region's rich Iron Age history, spanning modern-day Hungary, Slovakia and Austria, links his ancestry to remarkable ancient sites, such as the Bratislava Upper Dem, a Celtic stronghold that shaped the cultural life of its time. With this fascinating history in mind, let us now turn to his ancient genetic models. Thank you so much for watching. If something sparked your curiosity, or you'd like to share a thought, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join me again soon. Wishing you wonderful days ahead. See you soon.